Good morning, folks. We're seeing the earthquakes continuing, space weather getting a bit more interesting. We've got an exciting new paper dealing with electromagnetism and earthquakes, and we'll also have the upcoming events for the observers. Conferences, hangouts, that'll be at the end with the wind map. But let's begin with spaceweathernews.com and find 193 angstroms of the sun showing a modestly calm earth-facing disk, but with massive coronal holes. No big eruptions seen, but the solar flaring tried to make a move yesterday. It was unsuccessful, but it came as the departing active region is getting very gnarly, and we do have a leviathan incoming on the south. Neptune-sized sunspot that isn't traveling all by himself. His friends are all up in the corona, writhing around as plasma filaments. Contestants, welcome to the earth-facing disk. We're going to take a look at seven days of solar wind back at Earth here. Density bunch before speedy particles of the coronal hole stream that has now ended. But amidst the calming stream, you can see the anomalous readings. Those are not intensified streams from the sun, but bunching and excitement streams from the sun being so darn weak. Not causing geomagnetic storms, but the plasma penetration into our atmosphere has continued still. Lots of energy input right now. And speaking of that, quake-making energy is surging as the dark coronal holes are now squarely facing Earth, sort of in the arch right now, so to speak, as our disaster app score continues to rise during this uptick. Philippines getting active with a small volcanic eruption, sending ash nearly 7,000 feet up. Just south in the Solomon Islands, we took a six-pointer, as did Nicaragua across the ocean, but the most out-of-character event is easily the California five-pointer, and the uptick continues. Amazing article today confirming previous studies and hinting not so subtly at the electromagnetic precursor ability to forecast seismic events. Total electron content variations began before the Japan earthquake, and they can be distinguished. This paper is linked for you below. Now we will have your wind map and shots of our star to close, but little list of upcoming events first, and we're also just a few days before the modern day Sagan v. Velikovsky battle is born but maybe we'll discuss that tomorrow. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey!